What's good guys? This is System Test 97 Sirens. Welcome to Black Lightning 4547. I'm your host, Devin. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content for your eyes. Make sure you impale the notification bell. Thank you for viewing the channel and I hope all is well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as the title states, we're going to use alarms that have a some sort of siren tone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the devices. So for the notification appliance in my Audible, we have the AES EL1 wheel lock set on siren. It is a tritone horn with uh, three different sets of terminal blocks so it has horn siren and warble and each tone has its own uh terminal block so it's on set on siren high volume then as you kind of just saw a glimpse of we have the willock wm 3t 24 uh, for their remote strobe is 117 candela fixed and then in my closet we have the ls 324 is a 15 candela strobe fixed and so all the pole stations upstairs are the notifier nbg 10 l's okay out here we have the uh superish paratronics mts 1575 aka a wheel lock mt 24 lsm uh 1575 candela strobe fixed oh yeah and the pole station out here is another once again nbg 10 l and as you can see i did one change no more pvc right there i ran the wires through the wall so the wires go from that uh im module which that is attached to down there through the wall uh through the stud and then goes there and then connects to the pole station so it looks a lot better in my opinion and yes we still have the holes when the pvc and the enunciator was there but I digress. Obviously, same carbon monoxide alarms. Once again, in the gym, we have another MBG-10L. And then we have the MT4-12LS wheel lock. So it is it is a 12-volt, but it is set on its 24-volt setting. Um, like I said, set on Siren. That is also set on Siren 2. And yeah, this is just a 15 candela strobe. It is not an LSM, it is an LS. And by the way, this is the one that has a really fast strobe rate, like at four flashes per second. So just got to give you another warning, um, especially viewing these two, it can be well over five hertz. So like I said, if you have photosensitive epilepsy, it's just you don't watch the test portion once we get to testing. But yeah, you'll you'll see what I mean. But yeah, there's that. And then so downstairs. So uh, right here we have my AMT 24 1575WFR. Um, this is a newer generation MT. Once again, set on uh, the siren tone. This has the three priorities. Um, on the back of it, so they will all cause it an addressable uh, notification appliance. It, it's not the same addressable you're thinking of where the notification appliances utilize the same uh, SLC, NAC, you know, or something like that. This is still a conventional alarm, but it just has three priorities on the back. So you can use one for fire or security or whatever. So, yeah, like I said, fixed 1575 Candela strobe. It is an RSS strobe, um, so it is um, synchronizable. So there's that. Same carbon monoxide. And then for the end of line for fire, we have a MT24 MCWFR. Uh, multi candela. This one is set on 30 candela. So, yep. And then, like I said, that's one. This one is also set on siren. This one's just a regular MT. It's not an AMT. So it just has the 
four terminals on the back. So, yep, there's that. And then obviously we have the enunciator still looking good right there. For the pole station downstairs, we have just a regular Firelight BG10L. And then in the garage. Um, we have a Faraday F1 GT Chevron. Um, and I'll show you why we have that. I finally got my replacement uh, device in the mail. So we now actually have all matching alarms now. This one actually works. <laughs> and then obviously carbon monoxide alarm. Fire alarm is a Faraday 5337W. This is a tritone uh, electronic horn strobe. It has the S17 strobe, so it's a 1575 Candela strobe fixed. And uh, yeah, it's set on the siren. And then obviously our heat detectors are still the same. So without further ado, I think we're gonna start with uh, the NBG10L upstairs um, with the new look. So let me go grab my keys real quick and we'll get started. All right, so without further ado, um, let's get started. This one is actually really quiet. It's insane how quiet it is. I forgot to mention the coding option was 4002 style code three. We do have audible silence still remaining. So, So this upstairs is pretty much the unsynchronized section where it doesn't really matter a whole lot because they're not viewing two strobes at once. Um, but yeah, that one, this strobe is crazy, man. <laughs> so. So there's that. So let's go ahead and do a different coding option. So I'm gonna, let's do California code, which is on, off, on, off. That should be, yep, on, off, on, off. So that should be California code. 
So without further ado, let's actually do a smoke alarm um, to demonstrate the interconnection with the system. All right, here we go. That is dumb loud. <laughs> oh my god. That is loud, dude. Jesus. That's pretty interesting. Damn. That is loud. <laughs> Holy crap. So like I said, all about silence. Let's do one more coding option and call it a day. All right, so let's do, let's do 20 beat march time. So that's off, off, on, on. Oops, there we go. So that should be 20 beat march time. So I think we're gonna end it off. Oh yeah, also we'll, we'll do a carbon monoxide test today just because I did replace that select on 50d with uh amps go so we'll probably do that today too after the fire alarm portion all right let's uh let's pull the f1 gt Yeah, so there's that. So, system is reset in progress. Audible silence. Um, like I said, these things are loud, man. Shoot.
All right, the system is reset. Let's do the carbon monoxide detector in the garage. I don't know which one. I think I did the one upstairs last time. So let's do this one in the garage. Yep, yeah, there's that. So, system reset. And that is that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this system test. It's Bunny Ward Black Lighting 4547. Take care and have a good one.